Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. It is the day before my trip. I'm dropping off the Yosh Kosh Bagosh to Faja's house. Let me guess, you don't like her hair. Girl, it's two French braids, bro. This is not French braids. Oh, what you trying to say? <laughs> bro, I tried my hardest on them braids. You better give me my braid credit, bro. Them is braids. She just, ooh. Ooh. -hoo. Anyways, as you can hear, the weather is horrible. Sucks for y'all. I am on my way to Cabo in the morning. I'm not quite finished packing. I just finished working. It's 10 o'clock. Yeah. We had to run errands all day, get pedicures, waxes, grocery store, bank. Then I had to get home, work, and now I'm dropping her off, obviously. And when I get back, I'm going to finish packing. It's going to be an all-nighter because I'm going to try to do my hair tonight so that I don't have to wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning to do it then. Like, I'm just trying to get it done tonight and wake up in the morning and go the first day i get there i'm gonna be solo i told you guys last vlog i wasn't supposed to be there by myself the first day but we're gonna make it work i'm trying not to be too discouraged about all of the mishaps or whatnot actually i'm not discouraged i'm just not yet in birthday mode yet like everybody knows if you know me i'm really excited about my birthday every year but this year is just i'm waiting for it to just be like yes i'm excited hasn't quite kicked in yet so hopefully by the time I get to the Delta Sky Club she'll be excited because she, she's she spent a lot of money she spent a lot of money and it needs to be worth it you feel me so yeah are you excited for spring break um I guess you guess what does that mean I mean I'm not doing anything how do you know you're not doing anything I don't know well she definitely has a lot of stuff in my trunk right now I bought her some stuff to do while she's there she's gonna make a poster she brought her guitar she brought her electric scooter which she enrolled in probably three years so you're gonna have stuff to do for sure and i want to make sure your dad doesn't let you sit in that room all day funking it up with your breath and your feet and your not too much just saying, get up, brush your teeth, wash your face, go outside, be a kid on spring break, will ya? All right, be good. Miss me, love me. Oh, why are you grab my this? <laughs> grab my hair like that, young man. <laughs> I love you. Be good. Don't blow up my phone, but you can't call me. Yay! All right. Okay. Wear it. Confident. Head up. Thank you. My baby, beautiful. She be tripping. Good morning, y'all. And what a stressful morning it is. I was going to update y'all last night when I finished, but I didn't finish till like 2.30. Had to wake up at 5.30. It's now 6.40. Just called my Uber, which says I won't get there at 7.20. Flight board's at 8. Where's the time? Then, bringing my luggage down the stairs, I smashed my finger. And for the first time all year, because I told y'all I found a way to make my nails never come off. Like, it's hard to actually get them off when I want them off now. Smash my finger, and it looks like my nail is going to lift. So, um, having a great morning. I wanted to get to the airport early so I could eat and chill, but it looks like I'm going to get there very not as early as I wanted to, but it's okay. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. We're still going to have fun. We're still going to have a good time. And um, from here on out, it's smooth sailing. All right, so day one of Ellery's birthday starts now.
Got some food, got some bottles. I got six bottles to start with. The house also came with a car that you can drive to the store. I gave you guys a quick little tour. It's two o'clock. I decided I'm gonna stay in one of the upstairs rooms. It's gonna be me, Rhonda, Jan and Winston, and Jan and Winston are a couple. So I figured they can have downstairs and do their couple things. They made some guacamole and salsa. I'm gonna go to the pool, listen to my jams and get this party started, okay, baby? All right, I put on my swimsuit. Not leaving the house today. These, you probably can't see, but all these little pipes right here, they're building up. So eventually this house is not gonna have this view. Oh, not bad. All right, so I'm gonna stop wasting time. All right, the sun is going down. I was outside for a good few hours. It's starting to get a little too windy for me. And I realized I have to preheat the jacuzzi like two hours before because it didn't get hot until I was ready to go. The sun is already down, but that's a little sunset view before it gets too dark. This was my relaxed day to figure out all the kinks and jinx, get some food so that when they come, there's nothing they had to do. It's, it's, it's time to go, it's, it's time to party. But uh, I'm about to shower. Then I brought just some shrimp and some tortillas up here because there's the same kitchen up here that there is downstairs. So I'm making me some just basic shrimp tacos, no chips, little guac. Netflix is on the TV. And I still got my tequila. And they should be here tomorrow around noon, which is probably when I'm gonna wake up. So as soon as they get here, I'm gonna try to be dressed in my swimsuit so that we go right outside. Oh my God, y'all. Wait, let me get situated first, cause. All right, so I just ate this delicious meal. I cooked myself, and I was just talking to my friend, and I told y'all, like, this birthday has been birthday in and not in a good way. So my bestie that was supposed to come, she had a family emergency, and she can't come. She didn't bail on me like everybody else. Like, this was some real life stuff. But at the same time, my heart is just like, wow, another bullet to my heart because I was really looking forward to her coming. I just talked to my mom to like get me out of crying and she was upset too. It was just like a big emotional thing because it's not even just about her not coming. It's just kind of like overall, the things that have been happening up until my birthday has just been like weighing on me heavily. I'm trying not to overthink it. There's way bigger issues in the world. And it's, like I said, it's not just about my birthday. It's like other other situations, but I'm just trying to like, I don't know what I'm, tr I'm trying to be positive. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, she's okay though, which is most important. <laughs> now, if Jan or Winston miss their flight tomorrow, I might leave. Like my mom already told me on the phone, like if you don't feel like, you know, your vibe is good and you wanna be there, just go home. I was considering it, like I could just go home, but I'm not gonna get any money back on this very expensive house. Even if I had to stay in this house alone by myself for five days, I probably would just have to do that. And they got some books in this little bookshelf right here. Maybe I'll read all of them. At this point, I can't take any more L's. So hopefully, Jan and Winston make their flight and bring the vibes because they're the they're the last hope. I think it was 12, it went from 12 to three. They're the last hope to um, show up for me, so. Luckily, they have a Netflix subscription. I'm about to watch Netflix. I'm gonna have me two more shots, put on something on Netflix, go to sleep, and wake up and hope that tomorrow will be a better day than it was today and the day before that 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 and the day before all that. <sighs> all right, good night. Good morning. I slept on the couch last night. I thought I was going to watch a movie. I turned it on and literally not even a minute in, I was gone. This is what I was drinking yesterday, Centario. I woke up at six o'clock this morning because there's like a three hour time difference. So I've been up really since then. Jan and Winston are on the plane now. So I'm about to shower, get in my swimsuit and make me some breakfast. And then I'm gonna have some tacos and go out for them when they get here. Some shots, of course. Trying to get out of the rut I got in last night, kind of third wheeling my own birthday trip. That was not the plan. And never will I ever again plan a trip for my friends. That's, this is the last of it. I'm never doing this again. Next time it's just, I'm just gonna worry about me. I'm never doing anything for my friends like this again, but I digress. I'm gonna change. 
put my swimsuit on, cook, like I just said, put some music on and try to get my vibes ready so that when they do come, I'm not looking like I cried all night. Cause I didn't do that, mm-mm. All right, I have prepared a little lunch. Still got my surgery bump right here. It will not flatten or has not flattened yet. We're hoping that she's not permanent, but I digress. Um, here's a little spread I made. We got some taco shells right here. Under here we have some beef and shrimp. We got some chips. This is a leftover salsa from yesterday, but I had to make a fresh guac, so this is on me, baby. Then we have some lime and some cups with some tahini on it, ready for some shots. It was a struggle to cook because it's not many things that I could use or wanted to use, but I found like one good pot and good pan that I'll be using. That's the only thing about Airbnbs. Like I don't be wanting to use none of their stuff. Like that's the reason why I didn't sleep in the bed last night. Cause if you're ever, if you are an Airbnb host, verbal host, hosting, whatever, please have good linens on your bed. Like even if they're clean, I don't care if they're clean, if they look like they were made in 1992. Like all the linens look super old and it just turns me off. Like I'd be like, I do not want to crawl in there and lay there for hours. I'd rather just find this one little blanket and curl on the couch. And luckily upstairs is like newer than downstairs, which is kind of why I decided to go up there. So the furniture and the, the stuff upstairs is a little better. I told them that they could have their own floor down here when I thought Rhonda was going to be with me upstairs. But now it's kind of like, Actually, they do need to stay down here because I might have my titties out, which I usually do. All the construction workers probably know me by now because I've just been walking around butt bunky naked. They ain't got no curtains. What am I supposed to do? I don't like bras. But they should be pulling up any minute. They texted me about 20, 30 minutes ago and said there was getting in the car. And he drives like he's in Fast and the Furious. Hi, welcome to my home. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are finally here! What's up? What's up? Thank you for coming! What's up? Happy birthday! Thank you! It is my birthday! Thank you! 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 Been beyond the construction, so let's take a quick shot and then we'll walk around real quick. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all we'll have cups over here. Birthday shot. Uh, thank you guys for coming. The last of the Mohicans, literally. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna turn up. It's okay. Hey, we Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're on the beach. I can't see nothing. Like, the screen and these glasses are completely black. No, thank you. About to hopefully play some music and take some shots, because I don't know why I'm so sober. Yes, we need shots. It, I, I'm gonna say this, and like an hour later, I'm gonna be tipsy, so I need to stop saying that. It's just we ate a lot, too, so it takes a little slower. So I'm gonna embrace the process. We have not been able to sit down for more than three seconds without somebody coming up asking us about something. Like, this is... It, sh it kind of should be illegal because it's not very enjoyable to not be able to relax without bracelets in your face. So we're going to try to relax. No, thank you. And get some sun and a tan. No, thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll have a, the mission is tan. No, thank you. No, thank you. Black and full. No, you no pussy. Where are the Christian slashers? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse. Come on. I mean, where are the Christian slashers? Where is my bitch? God is love. It's your hair, pussy. I suck hair, pussy. Wow. Ornish shingles. Y'all right. I told you it was about 10 of those. Ain't no bitch. No enemies. No thank you. Sugar mama. Sugar mama. No thank you. Grab it by the push. Grab it by the push. Wow. Swallow it, bitch. Wow. That's impressive. Walk. Walk. That's good. Grandma's got grandma. Nobody grandma yet. What's your whip? Okay. Why everything gotta say pussy? Like, where is the respectful sash? 
Sit on my face. On my face. <laughs> hey, yo. And sex machine. Oh, yeah. Y'all are horny. Same here forever. Debatable. <laughs> About to shower. I got an hour. And then we're going to go to kind of back where we were. But to the bar area. Oh the bar area found somebody that can get a yacht half the price that i was going to pay oh my gosh i know i'm slurring but i'm not drunk i promise well, i don't promise but i'm not drunk We've been home for a couple hours. I was talking to Winston for a few hours. Jen was asleep. Now, oh, I forgot I got that ton of fucking jacuzzi on. Oh, I bet that jacuzzi is so warm though. But I am so tired. I'm going to bed. I'm gonna wake up early. I'm gonna go back to the beach tomorrow. Saturday, the plan is still to get a boat. Today was a good day, but no deep conversations tomorrow. Y'all, it's a lot. I wish I could share. All right, I will see y'all in the morning. We got this, Ellery. Good night. Good morning. I am heading to the couple's quarters. I'm about to make breakfast, which is gonna be very specific. Eggs, toast, avocado, tomato. And then I'm gonna shower and we're gonna go back to the beach today, but a different part of the beach. Last night, I don't think I recorded anything, but we just went to a bar, had hookah, and we were so early, we left before it got really popping. So this time we gotta play the time right and go when people are actually there. We'll see. Let's get this breakfast started first. All right, we had breakfast, it was very healthy. I did not know I bought wheat toast, but from the outside it looked like sourdough. We were downstairs talking for hella long. Bagwell called us, my little brother. He has FOMO, so he has to always be here in spirit when he can't make things. Now, about to change. We've had several shots. I'm sure my tipsy is gonna kick in at any moment. I slept in the bed last night, y'all, and I was so comfortable. So I'm mad I didn't sleep there on the first day because I was missing out. I slept very great last night. It's only 9.30, so it's going to be a very long day. Even though I'm more excited about tomorrow, I don't wanna rush today. We're gonna have a great day today, but tomorrow, <sighs> I love boats. I love, like if I was rich, rich, I would buy a yacht, like, and travel the world and never be home. I love boats. So I always wanna have a boat when I go on vacation. And I ordered one <clears throat> through the house, which I don't know why I would do that because it's always cheaper on the beach. We are, we're getting pretty much the same exact stuff for half the price. Yeah. So we're doing that tomorrow, but let's let's stay in today. I'm finally excited. Oh my God, cause y'all, you know what I was saying? Like I wasn't excited and all that. I'm finally excited, tear. Okay, let's get ready. Uh -huh. You finna go to the beach? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, switch my shoes. Can you switch your shoes? How you didn't know that we was going what to the beach? Did you put on? And now I gotta help him open the door. Oh, wow. You have a Lululemons? Yes. Those are supposed to be for the house. You they gotta go the rocks. I was about to say we're headed to the beach, but Winston got his Lululemons I gotta on. Take my Lululemon. I don't even know what that means. We have the speaker, right? Yeah. No. It's not right. <laughs> I got it now. All right, we got it. Sorry, Senor. Ahora. Now we're here. Aki. What is uh, Kaya Aki? Kera Aki? What are you trying to say? We're here. Kera Aki. Just say Aki. Here. Yeah. That's just like. It's like slang. Um, Say we outside. It's what time? Kera aqui a hora. We're here now. We're that here now. That sounds like a horror. <laughs> a horror is now, bro. A hora. Yeah. You're saying ahora. the H too hard. Okay, you're, you're I was saying a hora. No, it's saying no H. Yeah, it's no silent H. Y'all need. Y'all motherfucking need. Don't we? Travel. Don't we hear it because we bilingual, yeah. bro? Like, period. Como se dice? Negro mojero. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Muy negro. <laughs> you were Jen heard, but yesterday in the car when you were talking about the the cab the the driver, yeah. I said. What did I say? Hold on. <laughs> no, he knew what I said because he started laughing. I, I think I said El amo muy negro mujeres. And he was what like, he loves black women. <laughs> and he started chuckling. He was like, eh, hey, muy bonita. <laughs> I told you he did. I knew off his playlist, he's, he's definitely picking up 50-year-olds. Why did that be 50? Play, but 
I got the Osleys. Because he had that soul music. Oh, though. he was so, playing the soul music. Playing the Osleys, the Whispers. Like, he was playing the <laughs> <laughs> shit. I was like, Not oh, the Whispers. Man. Good morning, y'all. Cabo is whooping my ass. Like, we have not been surviving the nights like grown ups. We've been sleepy children. So, yesterday after we left the beach and we got back to the house, we were supposed to set an alarm to wake up to go back outside because it was so early by the time we got back, it was only like six o'clock. So we were like, we'll just chill until like 10, which is when the timer was supposed to go off. Timer never went off and we never woke up until this morning. So, but today's a new day. It did start rocky because the boat canceled on us initially, but he ended up coming through. This is Josh, hold on. Hi child. Ooh. Hi, child. Um, did you see my text messages? No, let me see. Oh, you can go with your best life, haven't you? Baby, it's my birthday. What do you want from me? Anyway, huh? All you said was, how was your day? No, scroll up. Oh. Oh, you need to know what size in that shirt? Yeah. I'll be right back out. As I was saying, it's still early, 8.51. So the car is not supposed to come take us to the boat to 12.20, so we're about to go get some breakfast. April 6th is today. Tomorrow's my birthday. <sighs> you see the smile? The smile is a good sign. It's a real smile. It's not a fake one this time, y'all, because I've been putting on a fake smile for quite some weeks. This is a real smile. Even with my belly, look at this. I look like I'm six weeks pregnant. This right here is still very hard, but I'm still smiling. <laughs> still smiling, it's okay. Manifesting a perfect day, amen. All right, we're at breakfast. It's called Casola. Casola. We got mimosas. She has her latte. The menu looks great. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that one. We're gonna have physical pictures on this trip. We need to take more. We've only taken like seven. And we've been here, three, I've been here three days. So we gotta do better. So when I check back in, we're probably not gonna be tipsy. So we're drinking champagne, and coffee. We're trying to get our energy up. What's that, what's that? Oh, endorphins? That's what makes you happy, right? Endorphins? I don't know. What about cocaine? <laughs> This was great. Good job, Jan. You're welcome. We have an hour-ish. We're gonna finish this. We are? Yes, we are. But there's a bottle on the boat. I know, but we're gonna finish this before we leave. Pre-game. Okay, okay. Yeah, the reason why we have to finish this is because we just ate, so if we don't, if we wait to drink on the boat, it's gonna take longer for us to get tipsy. If yeah. we have this, That's like we have a little bit of a head start. Yep. So we're making actually a responsible decision, even though it doesn't sound like it. It's very responsible. Okay, we're gonna listen to some music to give us get us in the vibes, because we're trying not to have that itis hit us, which I feel like it's trying to to get me, but I'm not going to do it. I'm gonna swig a little bit more of this Red Bull. We're about to finish that bottle before we get on the Yeah, she said we have to finish this whole thing. Okay. All right, well I'm outnumbered. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's Music. Do it. This is the beach we were at yesterday, over here. But now we're in the water because we're, we're El Jefe's. El Jefe's! Yay! Big bosses. Big bosses, what'd you say? Big Lotto. Big Lotto, Clayco. Southside. Big Clayco. Big Clayco. Southside. Hey, I fucked my money up, so now I can't re-up. Run up in this spot. Just 
to get my snacks up. Now I'm back on deck. So, so show me what, what the fuck, fuck you want. want. Hershey talking shit. But this ain't what the fuck you want. Y'all crazy. They crazy. Hey! Walk up, walk up, it's like, so ghetto out like, here. Like, 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 It's dark now. And we're still alive. We're still alive, and I feel like I still have a little bit of energy. What time is it though? Seven. Ooh. It is seven. It's exactly over there. Seven. Mm. <laughs> but we 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 are looking better than yesterday. We're about to take a shot. This shot is so cool. I know. It's very. Yeah. You go Tahiti. What the fuck? There's a line right there. Police not be dark, bitches. You keep saying police not be dark. That is. Merry Christmas. That shit is like New Year's or some shit. Nope. Y'all Spanish is terrible. <laughs> Our Spanish? Yes. It's, mer it's not even Merry Christmas. Mexican niggas there. Prosperos años. Feliz cumpleaños. You know what that means? Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Grab my pussy. What's this? I just want to record. It means happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños means happy birthday. Feel free to say it. They want to get Boy, grab my happy birthday. Feel free to say it. But Liz Cubliano, feel free to say happy birthday. I voted for Trump. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a Republican. Listen. He didn't mean that. All right, let's take it. Because he's childish. Let's, let's take our shot. All right, we're taking my birthday shot. I voted for Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe. Can we be serious for one second? Can we be serious for one second? I don't have no chill. All right. That's Sleepy Joe. I've never heard of that. My birthday's in four hours. Sorry, guys. All right, we're taking a, a, a cheers. You've been recording this whole time. Please yeah. edit all this shit out. Not your, I'm not going to edit out you being slow. I can't do that. I'm not slow. You are slow. Y'all not catching up. Texas for you with 100% accuracy How do we catch up the slow? Come on, Cheers! What's it to go? Feliz cumpleaños! Feliz cumpleaños! Try to say it. Try to say it. Christmas. Try to... No, we're saying him. Oh birthday. my gosh. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> I gotta go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Treinta y ocho. Treinta y If you wanted to believe that she was magnet something. No, I barely made it. I said I was on the court. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't have no you didn't have court. court. 3.5. Yes, I did. I have a court. You wasn't no goddamn 3.5. 3.5. I did beat. Was it magna, sumo, or cool? Which one was it? Barely made it. <laughs> he had the participation cords. This birthday vlog is gonna be a big ghetto. We just changed. Have fun. Still nude. The, the theme of today was nudes. That's why we had on browns. We're having them browns today. Um, I need to take this wig off. I'm gonna wear a different wig tomorrow for my actual birthday because baby girl is not letting me, even with a filter, she is lifting. And I've just been letting it fly. And I usually don't do that. I don't like when my wig is lifted. But anyways, we're about to go out. We're alive. I don't know exactly where we're going, but at least we're alive to go out. There's some beautiful condos right here. Oh my gosh. Everybody, every time I come outside, somebody's sitting on their balcony. I'm like, oh my God, I want that to be me. I want to live here. Hola. 
¿Cómo está? Look at how early I am. You could hear me? Oh, not her calling me a fee five four ass nigga. I didn't come down here for all that. It's so crazy. They thought I was gonna take the longest, and I'm the first one ready. Did you guys take a shower yet? Yes, but we're not even dressed. Cause you're laying on the bed chilling. Chop chop. Why am I dressed before y'all? Cause you didn't watch it. And y'all, and then I thought I was gonna come downstairs and some music was gonna be playing. All right, so clearly I'm dressed before everybody else. It's okay. I'm gonna give them a pass. I'm gonna play some music and get the vibes going, cause. They're um they're they're older than me, so they take a little longer. <laughs> oh, she's giving old vibes. She's definitely Why is she giving old vibes? She got two kids. I got a kid. Yeah. She got two. Zara got two personalities. <laughs> BRB. Good morning, y'all. Right now, it is about, gotta be like 12. I don't even know what time it is anymore. Like, they ain't got no clocks around here. It's either almost 12 or 12. We're supposed to go to the beach today. I do not have a tan yet. I'm very irritated about it. I want a tan. So, the goal is to get a tan today. We're gonna go to the beach again. Today's my actual birthday. Happy birthday to me. Last day. It's, it's all worked out, which I knew it would, because. I'm God's favorite, so I'm about to go downstairs and check on the lovebirds, and we're gonna head outside. Thank you for the birthday wishes in advance. I don't know if I can do Cabo again. I've been exhausted every day. Not to mention, last night, I was probably drugged. I took something for a headache that I got from a stranger, not smart. And all I know is by the time I got home, we were supposed to go out, but they took a nap. And then I started getting tired, so I was like, we just ain't going out tonight. I woke up in the middle of the night, dizzy, stumbling like that surgery video where I couldn't breathe and all, I, I woke up just like that. I was hyperventilating and I woke up and I was on the floor. My face was on the floor. I don't know if I fainted or if I went down slow. I don't know what happened, but this morning, and I'm probably a little dehydrated, but I've been drinking water and Gatorade all morning. I've been shaking. Like this morning I was like literally vibrating. It's time to go. Like I'm losing myself. We're about to try to go grab some breakfast real quick. Car comes in a couple hours, and it's time to go. I'm ready, and I never say that on vacation. All right, we're at the airport. We had the same breakfast that we had yesterday, and now we're about to be knocked out in this flight. Oh, I have never been so happy to finally be home. It wouldn't have been so bad if I didn't get sick the last day because I was shaking literally all day through the airport, at breakfast. Like, if I didn't get sick the last day, from whatever I took, I wouldn't be as exhausted as I am, I don't think. But anyways, I'm home. I literally just got home, put all my bags upstairs. And I was gonna get Zara tonight, but her dad so kindly agreed to just take her to school in the morning so that she doesn't have to wake up. Cause it's already, I think it's 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock. I'm in no way, shape or form going to the game tomorrow. There was one last game of the season that I was gonna go to and it's tomorrow. I already knew I was gonna make this. I don't know why I didn't just sell the tickets. But in the meantime, I don't have any more days off. I gotta work tomorrow. Thank you to all you guys who have sent me happy birthday messages. I posted a little picture on Instagram if you haven't seen it. Jan bought me a little photo shoot on the beach and that was the only way I was gonna have a birthday picture because when I tell you, I don't know, I was telling her too, I feel like the older I get, the more in the moment I am. Like I used to be content queen, like I was always pulling out my phone, even at the house with Zara, just recording, recording, recording and now it's not conscious for me, conscious or what? Conscious? For me to do anymore so I always forget to keep up with content especially on vacation 
and that really sucks because that's like my job but it's not on purpose and with, there's a lot of music playing and stuff so it's hard to vlog on vacations like that but missed a lot because when i tell you there were some moments that i was in rare form like going up to strangers rare form like i don't know what it's my birthday i guess that was my birthday behavior but i had a good time that's all that really matters i enjoyed my birthday i had a good time i will see y'all in the morning or tomorrow after school we're gonna pick up za and catch up on her spring break good night Ooh, <clears throat> young man, young man. Just pulled up to Yoshi School. I slept a long time this morning. I felt, what is that word, lethargic, lethargic? Like every time I would wake up, I would just be like, it's not it's not ready yet. Like I still would be in the days. So I slept probably till 11.30. Pimple patch on my zit sticker. I don't know where it came from, but probably when I was passed out on the floor. We have to stop by the store because I clearly have nothing for her lunch. Then she has to be back at the school at 5.45 for performance. Tomorrow, I have to go to some meeting for her field trip next weekend. Thursday, she has another performance. Friday, I was supposed to get go to happy hour with Ev and Tash. And Saturday, I was supposed to do something with everybody. It's just sounding like a lot. You know, every time you go on vacation, you need like two to three days to like be yourself again. Like, I don't have that type of time. I say I'm going to do something. Uh, I try to stand on business and do it. So even though I have to work in between all of this, I'm going to stand on business and I'm going to get it done. How was school? Uh, what's that smell? Is that that real stuff? Oh, it smells like perfume, but it's strong. Probably. What happened on spring break? What'd you do? I went to YMCA. Oh, how was that? Horrible. What? <sighs> Why? Guys, it was kindergartners. It didn't say it was for kindergartners? The highest age was 12. And no 12 You're year olds 12. came. Oh, uh, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know no 12 year olds came. So what did you guys have to do? It was boring. The only options were like coloring. Oh my Play-Doh. <laughs> Well, he just wanted you to experience it. So now that you know it's not for you, then you don't got to do it again. What else? I did my, uh, did did my your bucket, bucket list. list. Yeah. yeah. She made a bucket list. And I'll have to show y'all when we get home. But, well, it sounds like it was at least decent, no? I guess, yeah. For my shoes. You got your shoes. I'm wearing my clothes. $50? <laughs> you have $50? Yeah, because Yaya, Yaya sent me 33 so you spent all the money you've made so far? No, I have nine dollars and forty-six cents. So you spent all the money you've made so far? No. All right, we went to the store. We ate. We watched RuPaul's Drag Race. I took her back to school where I had to wait for her to do her performance because it was only supposed to be thirty minutes. And, oh, and while we were at the grocery store, and we y'all heard Yoshi in the car say she was broke. She had nine dollars and something left, and used four of those dollars to give me some flowers. I did not know I was getting the pups up, and she surprised me with some flowers and like eight packs of gum. So she's broke, broke now. It costs nine dollars. It's gone. I was like, girl, have you ever heard of a savings? Like, take it easy. You're not supposed to spend your last nine. Anyways, the dark flowers are from Benefit Cosmetics. They sent me flowers this year. It's always one brand that thinks about me. The last few years it's been Huda. This year it's Benefit. But I'm always appreciative. And the little, the lighter ones are from Yoshi. I just put them in the same base because of the same color. Now I'm about to do some work and clean a little bit. My house is a mess, but I want to show y'all Zara's bucket list. She's back guys to help us with figuring out this list. She just said summer's gonna be lit. She has all-nighter, that's pretty self-explanatory. Sleepover, self-explanatory. Throw a party. Not like a big party, I just wanna invite like three or four people. Yeah, uh, but we've already discussed last year, it was too much, I did two parties. That's One what party, I invited people a lot of people. didn't show up. No, you didn't. The second party, the Secret Santa, not only did a lot of people not show up, but some people stood you up and I spent money on them. So for me, I'd rather you try to have this be a summer buck list for your dad's house because Oh. I'm, I'm fresh out. We don't even have to do anything, bro. You don't All even right. have to buy anything. Yeah, but they still have to be here and I have to supervise them. So I think we should just supervise share that. who? We should, anyways, moving on. Go to the mall. That's self-explanatory. Pool, obviously. Shopping spree, wow. Like, these don't combine because smash plates. What? Huh? That's like basically when you get a plate and you write like a bunch of like bad habits and stuff you wanna let go of on the plate. Why can't you just crumble paper? Like who, who's busting <laughs> plates? Who's buying plates to break? Like, I'm not, sh I'm not sure how that, that processed in your brain because we don't smash dishes around here, okay? Movies, that'll be easy. Hanging out with friends. It's doable depending on where. Oh yeah. Cause it ain't at my house. What? Roblox horror game at night. Okay. 
make slime. Not in my house. Bruh. That's what Dad said. <laughs> well, you've already had your slime years in my house, so. I have? You've had what? plenty of slime in my house before. Deaf, blind, and oh, mute boy. cooking challenge. Whose kitchen are you doing that in? If you're deaf, blind, and mute. I'll clean, I'll clean, I'll clean, kitchen. I'll clean it. Bruh. And I'll wash all the dishes. Bruh. It's Bruh. basically, can I say what it is? I, I'll invite like two people over. Cause see, this is more like you no, can't get. No, mom, let me talk. Okay. Mom, let me talk. Okay. First of all, clean everything up. I wash every plate. There won't be speck, a, a dust speck on any of your stuff. Once I'm done, and basically, I invite two of my friends over, and it's deaf blind to me, which basically means you try to like bake something. Like let's say we were making a cake, you have to try to make a cake, but one person is deaf, meaning they like have headphones on, I guess. And one person is blind, meaning they have a blindfold on, and the other person is mute, meaning they can't talk. And you have to try to successfully make. Which is why this is not happening at my house. It's not about it being clean. It's dangerous for one, and then you want to do that here. Like maybe if that was like an activity they did in the city where they had a deaf, blind, mute activity center where they allow people to do that at their facility, but at my facility, nobody's being deaf, blind, blind and mute cooking in the kitchen. Like that's crazy. Sephora. I mean, if you just want to walk in there, that can be done. Oh what? Fun spot, girl, aren't you over fun spot? Like we've been there several times and it didn't even look like you were having a blast. I like, it's fun cause it's like, it's less expensive than Six Flags. Maybe that's what you can do with your friends. Exactly. So y'all just meet up at fun spot and then y'all all go home. Mom, you're not funny. I'm, I'm trying to be, I promise you. A night swim, who are you doing the night swim with? Myself. Myself and I. Girl, you don't even like bugs. One mosquito and you run it in the house. Clean out the closet. I definitely, I wish you could do that today. Self care day. I'm always going to root for that. A bath. You haven't taken one of those in a long time, so I can see why you would put that on there. You use those new bath bombs. Film a TikTok dance. That's something new. I usually don't like to do TikTok dances. I'd even do that one with you. Bake something. That's easy. Urban air. You know I hate urban air. It's filthy in there and it stinks. It smells like baby feet dipped in boo-boo. The last time I was in there too, people were spitting loogies on the floor. Ew. Yeah, yeah. And jumping in them ball pits, probably like, it, it's just, it's, it's never my place that I want her to go because it just seems like it's, they should call it urban germs because it's a bunch of urban germs up in there. But okay. A sun tattoo. That is basically you get sunscreen. I know what a sun tattoo yeah. is. You have to sit in the sun for a while for those to work and maybe think about that a little longer. I mean, I did say try. You did say try. You were Pacific in that one. Now this one is where I called you Drew Barrymore. Walk in the rain, like, what in the rom-com? Why do you want to walk in the rain? Cause. Are you talking about like sprinkling or like it's storming outside here? What are you waiting for, huh? Like what type of walk in the rain are we talking about? I guess sprinkling. Then you did that today. Mom, stop. Okay. I know y'all gonna say I'm being negative, but girl, I'm just trying to, I, want, I, I like realistic lists because you guys know I like to make her dreams come true. But these are just like, girl, you it's like to make hard, my worst bro. nightmares it's come true. Like, why hard. are we, why it's do, why do hard. I want to make your dreams come true and you want to make my it's worst nightmares come hard. true? Like, we supposed to be on the same page. But okay. Next, watch PGO. What's that? It's Percy Jackson, Jackson. Jackson. Girl, you can do that at TT's house any day, girl. These, some of these, a lot of these are going to be accomplished. Watch Hampton. Oh, that, that, you can do that together. Game night, easy. Lose 10 pounds. Now you're trying to disappear. <laughs> I don't even think you know how much 10 pounds is, bro. Like, do you know how much 10 pounds is? I'm not saying do you know how to count to 10, <laughs> but 10 pounds is a lot of weight. You don't need to lose any weight. I always say, don't say I need to lose weight because you don't need to do that. If you want to tone, like build muscle, that's one thing, but you don't need to lose no weight. You can tone easily, get you a little six pack, get you some little Tina Turner arms. You know, some uh, triglutoseps. Yeah, don't put it lose no weight. We'll just translate this. It. I know you can't. We'll just translate this as gain muscle. And then you can start tracking like the first day, what your stomach looks like, and then see when the muscle builds. And What's then the difference? Because then you can check it off once you see your muscle. But won't I be losing pounds if I do that? Because you're going to be muscle training, not cardio. Cardio, you, you kind of burn fat and calories. But if you're lifting weights, it's cardio doing running. Sit ups. Yes, it's running. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, cardio is like anything that's like fast paced running, walking, uh, boxing. But muscle training is actually like weight lifting, sit ups, push ups, squats. That's building up your muscle. 
I say this as if I go to the gym and know what I'm talking about. All right, last three summer playlists. That's cool. Not in my car though, because yeah. I've heard too many of your playlists and they're not my cup of tea. Truth or Dare, who are you playing that with? I don't know about that one. Girl, what? I've already done it. When? On call. What do you mean on call? You don't have to be in person to do Truth or Dare. We would just be like doing stuff on the phone. So give me a Truth or Dare you've done. Um, text blank and blank and say, um, they got you, somebody was talking about it about them, something, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I might have to ear hustle on that. And the last one, everyone loves read a book. So, anyways. I need to make my summer bucket list. I was giving her a hard time. The bucket list isn't so bad. Um, still not doing all of them, but it's not bad. It's, it's actually typical of a teenager. This is all stuff teenagers want to do in life. So I think it was cute that she wanted to do it. And now it's time for me to get in Yoshi birthday mode. That's it for me. My birthday's over until next year. It went by so fast. I'm looking forward to finishing off this year in better spirits. I don't know why, but I feel like I should feel much better by now. I don't have another checkup until like August. I need somebody to check my whole body and figure out if everything's working right. Maybe I need a detox. That's it. Give me a good metal and parasite detox. I actually looked up one today, but I'm not familiar with the detoxing. So give me something I could take to detox my body. Cause I heard a lot of people say they got a lot of energy off of getting all the toxins out. That's what I want to do. Help me with that, please. Cause something's got to work. <laughs> something's got to work <laughs> eventually. So I will see y'all next week. Make sure you check out Zara tomorrow. That's enough for me blabbing. I will see you guys next week. Until next time. Love you. Bye.